in this trail talk, we're just going to show you a little like, progression of all the plants. As you can see behind me, this is all wild lupine. Last week I was here and uh, nothing was coming up and bingo. We got lots of purple, some pink, some whites, and this just grows naturally all along the North Shore. So this is lupine. We'll go around and uh, take a look at some other different uh, plants. This one here, you know, grows all over the place. And what this is, this is tag alder. Now, tag alder, you'll notice, I want you to take a look here. These little, I got to say, caskins is, I believe, what, what they're called. And grouse love these. And, you know, you'll look at the leaf, kind of remember, I don't know, <laughs> this leaf, and I want you to kind of look at this bark here. See, this bark is real dark, and it's got these little white spots on it, okay? Now, this plant, I mean, as, as you look at it, keep an eye on that, and we'll walk over to this section, and I'll show you a plant that's very similar, but different. If you look at this particular plant, this bush here, this is a wild hazelnut bush. The leaves look very, very similar, but you'll notice the the bark is different. See, it's it's more of a gray color. It doesn't have that dark with the little... Uh, white spots so those are wild hazelnuts and about Labor Day is when you need to be here otherwise the squirrels and all the other animals will get to them you know before you but so you know right there you got the hazelnuts and just as we walk here all this green that you see here, this is all wild raspberries growing. And if you've remembered my video from last week, there was lots of white flowers on these particular trees out there. And what those trees are, those are pin cherries. And... Like I said, last week, it was just a whole bunch of white flowers. This week, we'll, we'll come up. And uh, let's see. Yeah, as you can see, those are going to be, those are pin cherries. So, not too much longer. They'll be just red little berries, and the birds will be going crazy for them. So, Hopefully I can get out and maybe grab a couple of them before they do. You know, they are small. So let's, I want to show you there's a couple other plants. We'll just hop up top here. We'll head down. And the, what another thing is the ferns have just grown up like crazy. So I did an initial kind of walk through and tried to whack some weeds down. But we got plenty more. But what I'm going to show you next here again is a you know another pin cherry tree, and uh, as you can see, there are. Lots and lots of fruit, but we'll just keep going down here. We're, we're almost to the spot where another native plant is really, really taken off. We'll go up here and I'll show you those first. And then there's one last one that I just want to point out to you. Hope I'm not making you dizzy. So, do you see all these little white flowers? 
growing all over. They're on uh, both sides of the trails. What those are, that's bunchberry. And I just learned this last night. Uh, Bill and Mary, our neighbors, were out. And I uh, weren't quite sure what they were. So we did pull out the old plant uh, ID app and bunchberry. And they're, they grow, you know, they start as flowers. And then they'll have little red seeds. And the black bear, love them. Grouse chipmunks, snowshoe hare, and uh, white-tailed deer actually like to eat the the vegetation. Um, so that is the bunchberry. And they are 100% edible. The Native Americans uh, used to use those. Different jams and jellies. I guess it's, you know, it, the berries are small and there's like one seed in there, so you don't get like a lot, but... We got plenty of flowers to pick from. And then lastly, I want to show you. Our wild roses. You may have not have known that. Roses grow in the wild. So as you can see. These are wild roses. You know, some are just opening up. And that pink there, um, I was talking, what Mary does, our neighbor, is she collects the petals and makes teas and I, I think she said jams just from the, the flower petals. And what's so cool is this fall, you'll... Mosquitoes, these all where the, all these little rosebuds are, though they look like I would say a cranberry, a little bit bigger than a cranberry, but uh, smaller than a plum. So, yeah, that is wild roses. And again, all along here, you got the wild chestnuts and tag alders. I was planting elderberry and I think I'm up to over two, over a hundred uh, apple trees that I planted on the property. So, well, that is uh, it for this trail talk. Uh, be coming up here in another four days and hey, who knows? We might have some uh, other vegetation that uh, may have popped up that we could share and hopefully I can identify for you. So we're going to get the uh, truck loaded up. The dogs are total city dogs. We brought them up here and they got bit up and they've been sitting in the, in the uh, cabin kind of complaining. So Melissa and I are going to pack her up and hit the road. So make it a great day.